Investigators are still trying to track down the suspects involved in an arson at the Conway Community Center in St. Paul. That fire displacing the Sane Foundation, but with an abundance of help, it is quickly pivoted to continue to serve the community. Fox 9's Don Mitchell has the story. The Sane Foundation embodies the word community, and after arsonists set fire to the Conway Rec Center behind me, they wasted little time to get back on its feet, and it showed. It was almost overwhelming because I was trying to get stuff done, but the amount of people that just to say, you know, we care about you, what do you need? I'm here to help, what can I do? Tony Sane has spent his life serving the community, and it took no time for him to feel the love right back. Programs and camps were immediately moved to other nearby facilities like Battle Creek and Eastview Parks, and you can still register for all free camps this summer. It's fast, and uh, you know it was Sunday, and we had to be ready for Monday. So um, it's nice to, for me because I got to get out to some new locations in the fields and be around the kids again. Um, but our staff really was remarkable. Being healthy and staying positive. So that's being kind to one another. It's important to us to make sure that we're doing this here for the for the community. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the fire, and while the severe damage is limited to one main area, the entire building has smoke contamination and must be thoroughly cleaned before children can enter the building again. Well, it started outside, but through here, you see this whole wall that got melted off, and um, the panels here, and even the, the metal here is just melted right through and then through the wall. So this is the worst, like, with the infrastructure damages in the building right now. Second Harvest and Chef David Fima reaching out immediately to help food distribution. Boulder Options providing equipment. Friends and strangers all lending a hand. And the work on the state-of-the-art multi-purpose athletic fields is still in progress. The support has been amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I moved back to the Twin Cities, because... Um, of the sense of the community and I knew I could partner with the city um, to develop something special and I really felt that and uh, you say you know you you know your friends you know when times are tough and um, the whole community definitely stepped up for us. In St. Paul, Don Mitchell, Fox 9 Sports.